Hey guys, you won't believe this. I have finally made it to the largest shanty compound in the entire Southern Africa and I'm super excited. So today, I'm actually coming to you from uh, Kabwe here in Zambia. Okay, so guys, I'll be walking you around this beautiful uh, shanty compound. It's called Makululu. So let's take a, a walk around this beautiful neighborhood. I show you guys how life is in this particular ghetto. Okay. In Africa, this is the second largest shanty compound or a ghetto, if you if you may like. So that's the video for today. If you're new to my channel, kindly consider subscribing, turn on the bell notification so that whenever I do post a new video, guys, you shouldn't miss any single of my upload. My name is Samson, the Roadman. Let's go. Alright guys, so this road is heading into the Kabwe CBD on this side and then this side is where the this is the Lusaka road, the Great North road and this way is where Lusaka is you know so there's a very sharp corner right here but then let us walk into Makururu so Makururu is actually this neighborhood which you're able to see here okay so there's a beautiful road which is called uh, Luangwa Road which passes through Makururu you know? so this is a road here so you basically branch off from the main Lusaka Road on this side you know and then you head this way so this is the place that we'll be touring today so let us step into into Makululu and find out how life is in this particular neighborhood. As you can see already, so many people that are coming here. A lot of work as well. Bicycles with uh, loads of tomatoes, you know. So you can see how busy it is. Let us walk around. Let us walk around and show you how this is, guys. Yeah, let's walk around I get to show you how beautiful and amazing this is it's a very big it's a like I said it's a, the largest uh, shanty compound in southern Africa and it's only second it's only second in Africa to Kibera uh, which is a shanty compound in Kenya Okay, so let's get to tour it and show you how life is here. Okay. Can you see? These are some of the houses, the type of houses that are found here. But uh, there's another place which is uh, kind of very old. As compared to this one, this one was you find a lot of nice houses, okay. But there's another place when you get deep down into this um, Makululu compound, you get to notice that, uh, in fact, even some of the houses, even some of the houses in this uh, neighborhood, uh, were made of uh, just you know, just like soil, you know. Uh, they are mud houses, if I put it that way. Most of them are actually mud houses. But uh, of course, there are other houses that are very nice, actually, very beautiful. You know, so anyway, let's walk around, we see for ourselves. Okay, can you see the bent brick houses? It's 
So this is, look at this beautiful house here. It's a very nice house. You know, very beautiful big house here. Okay. So I'm basically running you through the, the second, the second uh, biggest or shanty compound in uh, Africa. Okay, so let's uh, let us cross. We go to the other side. Of course, we go to the other side. I show you. Okay, so let us walk right into it. Okay, so that we see the type of houses, how people are living here. Yeah. So take a look. So this is Makululu, guys. And also, if you let me know in the comment section if you've heard of this particular compound or neighborhood you know let me know look at that chicken look at this beautiful big house take a look hey, 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 hey. okay can you see the houses which are here these houses Okay, let us uh, check out this other area, guys. Yeah. Take a look. But here you can see the number of nice houses. Like this one, it's a very big house. And look at this one. This is an Ashanti compound, guys. Look at this, how big this house is. This is very nice. And it's a big yard as well. That's one thing I like about it. You know, it's very big. Even this other one here. Can you see how beautiful these houses are? These are very big houses in a Zambian typical compound. Wow, that's nice, guys. Okay, so let us walk around and show you guys the amazing neighborhood shanty compound here in Makululu it's a very interesting area okay look at that most of the houses are made like this bent uh, bricks yeah. and this one is neatly done as you can see neatly done but here we go take a look so can you see these houses here these are houses made of mud eh? these are mud houses as you can see here okay so you actually get to see a number of such kind of houses here and there as we go you know it's in a shanty here in, in africa you know yeah Yeah, and this is a water water pipe, very big water pipe. Okay, very big water pipe. Yeah, number of shops, of course. Okay, so.
so we're in Makululu guys in Makululu yes guys so we are here in Makululu and uh, exploring the biggest uh, shanty compound in southern Africa and the second biggest shanty compound in Africa this is Makululu so yeah let's continue guys let's continue touring it now you may be wondering why we say it's the biggest or uh, how big is it how big is Makuru compound so Makuru actually houses about uh, 60 to 65,000 uh, people and um, in, it's, it's located in the city of uh, Kawe and Kawe actually has like uh, about 220,000 uh, people in general but then uh, this alone this area alone uh, it is accommodating about uh, about 65,000 people in this area, in this neighborhood alone, which is very big as, which is very huge, you know, so yeah, it's an amazing place. So I'm in the neighborhood today and uh, I'll be showing you guys how beautiful it is and uh, how people live here. And it's a very beautiful neighborhood. So let us explore together. Yeah, let's go. So the time is uh, 10 20. 10 15 kids are playing here and there. So you can have like, such kind of roads. Others are very small roads. But here you can get you can fetch water. You know, like people are fetching water and things like that. Which is cool. And look here. The houses you see here. So guys, I'm deep in this uh, neighborhood now. As you can see, this is Carway. And this is Makululu, you know, the biggest shanty compound in southern Africa. Okay. So, really, like most people here live in abject poverty. They're deep, deep into abject poverty, you know. So, take a look. So this house is just being kind of uh, plastered with uh, with uh, soil. <laughs> wow, guys! Wow. This, this is very sad actually, to some extent. You know that uh, people in Makululu, most of the people that live here don't have like real sources of income, you know, they just live, they just live, you know. Uh, you know working, you know like uh, the city of Kawa itself, it's a, it's a very old city, it used to be a mining town where lead and copper was actually the main minerals and zinc were actually the main minerals that were being mined like a long time ago but then things are changing like um, there isn't copper that is being mined anymore uh, lead has also reduced uh, I've seen a number of zinc mines but then you know not much activities are going on here so most people live in poverty really sad sad situations uh, yeah as you can see even from the houses that uh, they are living in here you know yeah that's a sad situation that's a sad situation here in Kabwe in Makululu township uh, it's a very bad 
scenario okay yeah but it is what it is and uh, also to make the matters worse um, these the people that live in Kabwe mostly um, because you notice that uh, things like um, This is the most populated. This is the most polluted, actually, the most uh, polluted city in in uh, in Zambia. It's the most polluted city because when these mines left, they had destroyed the land. It's very polluted, you know. Yeah. Okay, so here it's like uh, there, there's a drainage. Yes, you can see, guys. It's a drainage, big drainage here, which they are building. It goes all the way. But what you can see, all, the, all this is Makururu. You know, as you can see there, all this. But boss, we go in. We know each and each and each and each Drainage. Drainage? Yeah. Oh, Kula was an image, you know? Oh, okay. So, Gallo came for a man that I want. Oh, Kuroxa, I have to lie. I'm serious. 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 I'm Okay, so okay, so we know Okay, so you can see the sun, I am a You can see the sun, I am You can see the sun, I am Okay, I told you. Okay. So, guys. The gentleman was just explaining to me that um, they are building that uh, drainage, you know, so that, uh, you know, when the rain comes, water doesn't like spill off like it does uh, most of the time because it gets full. So they've put up that uh, wall, more like a fence just to ensure that water doesn't come to the houses. Okay. Which is a good idea, at least, you know. But let us continue walking around in this neighborhood and show you how it is, you know. Yeah. So we can see some houses. So you see here. Take a look. So this is the shanty, very shanty compound, guys. You know, very very shanty compound. Remember, I did a video about another another shanty compound in Lusaka, which is called Linda. You know, but this one it beats Linda, guys. Bits Linda, it's very shanty. The house is here. Hey guys, the house is here. I'm not pleasing at all. Take a look here. Take a look. Wow. This is sad. You know, certain people, of course, they tend to have like a bit of, do a bit of a, a gardening. You know, like they can do a bit of gardening so that they can at least have some vegetables to eat. Yeah. So, those with a, a bigger land, you know, they tend to have that, which is good. You can see the houses. Wow, it's a, it's, a, it's a sorry sight, it's a sorry sight, but uh, what can you do?
what can you do? So I just live through it, life as it is. You know? Wow, I've never seen such a such a community, and even those in the sack that uh, live in the in the kind of uh, ghettos that uh, that I've I've shown you guys that I've captured a number of times. Um, surely, I've never seen this such kind of a gate. You know? I've never seen such kind of a gate. I can tell you that. This is really, really ghetto, guys. Take a look at the houses. I mean, take a look at the houses, guys. Huh? Uh, look at this beautiful vehicle. And look at this beautiful vehicle here. An Audi passing in a gate of a very luxurious car. You know? So this is a typical ghetto. Can I even say a typical ghetto now? This is worse guys. So somebody's trying to build here. Okay. Which is cool. Which is cool. Look at this. There's a house for rent here, guys. Would you like to come and live here? A house for rent. A house for rent. So tell me what you think about this ghetto, guys. It's uh, the largest and the second largest here in Africa. Yeah, the largest on the southern part of Africa. And the second largest. It's only second to Kibara in the Kenyan, uh, the Kenyan neighborhood, the Kenyan ghetto, it's most shanty compound, if you may put it that way, you know. So, yeah, but uh, let's continue walking around and let me know what you think about this one, guys. Yeah, I know you've got a lot of things to say, but put them down on the, on the, on the comments. Put them down in the comments down below. Yeah, let's uh, read them. Yeah, it's a very big neighborhood that I'm touring today. It's called Makululu, Makululu neighborhood. So yeah, let me know what you think. It's the largest uh, compound, shanty compound in the southern part of Africa. And second only to Kibera in Africa. Kibera, I don't know how you pronounce it. So if you're watching from Kenya, let me know in the comment section uh, that compound that shanty compound in Kenya what is it called is it Kibera or Kibara I don't know but uh, let me know in the comments down below okay so you can see but uh, life goes on for the kids because they have nothing to worry playing some jamming some soccer here you know having fun you know the fun never stops even if you're living in a ghetto you don't have electricity you don't have what and what uh, people would want to always have fun, you know, it's important actually, it, it takes away your the stress, you know, uh, so that you don't just be in, your, in a corner, um, you know, suffering in your brains, you know, things like that, uh, take away the pressure, go and have fun, play some football, okay, so, yeah, that's uh, what, is, what is going on there with the kids, Okay, well, let us continue walking around, showing you guys the beautiful. Amen, Sharif. Amen, Sharif. Okay, can you see, guys? Can you see, guys? So it goes all the way to this side. This is Makululu, guys. Makululu. Makululu. Wow. Wow. 
So this side, you can also find a, no a number of uh, plots. You know, like people, people beauty, like here, somebody started a very nice house here. They want to construct. So this side, this is where you can find like maybe a number of um, plots here and there. You know? Yeah. But it's very big, like it goes all the way. Even that side, that's Makululu there. It goes all the way and then even this side as well. Yeah. So take a look. And then this side, of course, big boys having fun, you know. Yeah, there's a bar there where you can buy alcohol. You see a number of people that are enjoying themselves there. I'll take a look this side. So this is how Makololo looks like. Yeah. You can see the big vehicles that are parked here. So it's a walk around guys, we're simply walking around here in uh, Makululu, you know, we're simply walking around, first impression of Makululu, you know, the biggest uh, shanty compound, yes, here in the southern part of Africa. So it's a, it's a good place to come to if you want to experience real, real ghetto life. Yeah. So come to Makululu, guys. Come to Makululu and see how life is here. You know? Come to Makululu. So these are the bent bricks which they use now. Okay. Which is good. Those uh, bent bricks are very strong actually. Okay. how it is. On this side it's very busy actually. It's very busy, some works here being done. By the main. Making some ports and uh, things. Okay, that's how this side it's very busy here. Okay, I take a look here. There'll be some nice shops that are coming up. Can you see? Very nice shops, guys. Okay. Wow. So you can see, guys, here it's a, it's a little busy. Very busy, actually. Because here, yeah, yeah, this is the main road. So they've got, like, uh, shops. Of course, selling... Uh, People selling like empty bags, repairing things as well. And there you can see somebody is repairing a bicycle. Somebody is repairing a bicycle on the middle of the road. Okay. Hey,
I used to make a local drink. Yeah, they are very nice. Actually, a local drink is called Mahil or is it, is it Mongkoyo? Yes, Mongkoyo, which is very tasty actually. Okay. So she was telling me those big ones are used for the for people buy them for the big those that make um, that local drink in big drums like in big quantities and uh, they are very sweet you know so yeah those are the roots which they use to make it taste very good yeah so this is a local market here local market and these are the bricks which they make here okay. all right so here guys the local market is dark see here you can buy some clothes okay this is a local market here in Makololo guys just walk around this is where women come and sell their things okay. It's a very busy, busy market. The local market in Makuru. No, market in Omuite Chan. Kamanda market. Kamanda market. Okay, okay. So there is the market is called uh, Kamanda market. You can see how busy it is. So here you can buy all the vegetables, the dry fish, capenta. So let me show you how it is. This is called the Kamanda Market. Hey guys, this is big. Hope you guys are able to see. Because according to him, they are not selling maize because they are not farmers. They are selling maize because they have nothing to store. If it is not stored, the maize has got a limited yield. Those are the arguments. Very big. Now, even if you are not selling maize, you are not selling maize. So the vegetables. It's a very big market, guys. It's a very, 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 very big market. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay guys, so I've just uh, come out of the Commander Market here in, uh, in Kabwe, which is a market uh, in the middle of uh, in the middle of uh, the largest shanty compound 
in the southern Africa and the second largest shanty compound in Africa. Yeah, so that's how the market arrangement looks like. But we are back to the community itself. Okay guys, so this is Makululu, Makululu shanty compound, very big shanty compound, I can't even cover the whole lot of it guys, I'm feeling my legs swelling up a bit after this long walk, you know, so yeah, but uh, let's walk a bit more and show you guys what is happening like here. They are breaking the house. They've actually demolished that house. Probably they want to put up a big one. You know? They want to put up a big one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You see the whole area. And, uh, they've even started. Eh? They've, put, they've even started. They want to build a big, big house. Okay. I love this one is very bright the color they used you know <laughs> yeah but guys let me know what you think about Makululu compound the largest shanty compound in southern Africa okay let me know what you think about it you can see life in the ghetto <laughs> okay Wow, you know, like I've always been thinking, like uh, Soweto in South Africa is the largest shanty compound, but it's not. There's Kibera, is it Kibara in Kenya, and there's Makululu here in Zambia, you know, which is super cool. But uh, things have to improve, I think, you know. Also, uh, looking at the facilities, so the people of Makuru have been neglected like for a long period of time, for a long, long period of time, you know, we have been neglected. For a long period of time. For a long period of time, but uh, yeah. Take a look at this beautiful big house here. This is a very big house in a shanty compound. Take a look. Okay, let us walk around. Let us continue walking around this uh, the Kalu Brothers. Okay. Okay, so here again the number of shops that are around this area. The number of shops. So we are walking into this uh, area. Okay, let me, let me just uh, show you the main tarmac that passes through this area. Okay, the main main road. 
So most of the roads are not tarred, as you can see, many of these roads are not tarred, but there's one road that passes through this one, this neighborhood, it's called uh, Makuluru, oh sorry, it's called uh, Wangwa Road, okay. It's, uh, this road here. This is the road. Can you see, this is where it's going. It's going to Wang. Yeah. It goes all the way this side. Right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tour of Makululu, the largest shanty compound in Southern Africa. Okay, and second here in Africa. Second only to Kiabara, Kibara in Kenya. Okay, so thank you so much. And uh, make sure that you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Take care of yourselves.